This is just normal for you, isn't it, to be associated with the Rajasthan Royals? This is almost family. Uh, brand ambassador again, but you don't need really an official designation to be part of this franchise. Um, I look, my uh, journey with the Rajasthan Royals started in 2008, yeah. um, becoming captain coach, the only non-Indian captain coach uh, that first year, not knowing what was going to happen. And then from there, I've been involved the last 11 years, I had a couple of years where I wasn't uh, doing too much, but I was still advising from afar and sort of consulting and helping the owners. What players have I seen? And I think this guy could be good. And helping with a bit of strategy and things. But um, last year I was mentor, so I was helping with the cricket department. Um, this year I'm, I'm not helping the cricket department. They've got all, they've got the guys there, Paddy and Zubin and yeah. Stefan Jones and everyone there. So they'll leave them to it. Um, this year I'm sort of working out how we're going to push the Rajasthan Royals worldwide, making strategies with the owners and helping push the brand of the Rajasthan Royals. Because it is a wonderful story, yes. uh, the Royals. The way that the owners and Manaj and his team came up with um, the players for the first year, and then on and on, they've sort of been, and then last year was the first time they spent a bit of money uh, at auctions. Um, so yeah, look, I think around the world, the, the Royals are sort of, everyone keeps an eye on the Royals to see how they're going and what are they doing. Um, and I think no matter who you support in the IPL, I think everyone's favourite team, second favourite team is the Royals. <laughs> yes. Um, and this year, you know, part of our strategy is a new beginning for us. Um, last year we joined forces with all the cancer organisations and played a game in pink. And the response was phenomenal from the fans. They're saying, guys, you should be pink. And so we sat down and thought about it and said, okay, Pink City, Jaipur, um, playing in pink, aligning ourselves with different people with pink. Um, it's time for a change. And, you know, everyone's trying to reinvent the franchises all the time. And I think, you know, the pink that the players are going to wear this year, I think is going to be pretty cool. So after 10 years, we're making a new new, new plan with pink in the pink city of Jaipur. Um, the Rajasthan Royals are going to be pretty strong. Yes, uh, 2008, in fact, you missed out one minor detail that you actually won the thing, which... Uh, <laughs> which uh, I'll let you tell me that when we won. I said, yeah, 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 it was great. <laughs> yes, it was, it, it was one of the great underdog stories because no one yeah. gave you a chance. But just looking at the squad this year, uh, you seem to have a lot of very high-impact players. Not all mm. of them may be available throughout the year because it's a World Cup year throughout the season, but still looks very good. Yeah, I think the guys, Zubin and the guys, have done a great job picking the squad and getting them together. Um, if you look at the players, I think with the World Cup year, they're probably going to miss a few games. We're hoping that most of the players will be around for at least 10 games, yeah. if not maybe 11. Um, so, you know, 14 games, 10 games is a lot. Uh, so they can make a significant impact and, you know, they can really help your journey and destination of trying to make the finals, which is everyone's franchises, make the finals. Not to finish on top, it's just make the finals, because once you get into that finals, anything can happen. Yes.